One of the figures represented in our literary Kentucky section is Kentuckian and award-winning mystery writer Sue Grafton. From grocery stores to libraries to bookstore chains, Grafton captured the attention of avid readers with her Kinsey Milhone Alphabet Mystery Series. Her first book in the series, A is for Alibi, was published in 1982, and her last book, Y is for Yesterday, was published shortly before her death in 2017. The series follows private investigator Kinsey Milhone as she solves mysteries in the fictional town of Santa Teresa, California. As you make your way through each of the 25 books, you are gripped by a seemingly unsolvable mystery and inevitably learn about the imperfect protagonist the series follows. Grafton was born in Louisville, Kentucky in 1940 to Vivian Harnsberger and C.W. Grafton. Her father, C.W., was a lawyer and also wrote detective fiction. Her mother was a former teacher. Unfortunately, Sue Grafton, along with her sister Anne, had a tumultuous childhood with her parents. However, she did take inspiration from her novelist father. After writing seven novels starting at the age of 18, Grafton decided to transition to screenplays for 15 years, where she continued to learn how to craft a story. After acquiring those additional skills, she transitioned back to writing detective fiction, a genre of which she'd been a longtime fan. She drew a considerable amount of inspiration from the Gashley Crumb Tinies by Edward Gorey, which was structured into an alphabetized list. After coming up with the idea for a mystery series utilizing letters of the alphabet, Grafton began her journey by writing a list of words related to crime. Thus, the Kinsey Milhone mystery series was born. The success of this series was remarkable. It topped the New York Times bestseller list for about 400 weeks, equating to around eight years. Additionally, she won several awards. In 2009, Sue Grafton was awarded the Grand Master Award, the highest honor award at the yearly Edgars Awards, hosted by the Mystery Writers of America. She won alongside fellow writer James Lee Burke. The bust of Edgar Allan Poe we have on display is the trophy that Grafton was awarded for the honor. Unfortunately, Grafton passed away before writing the final book in the series to represent the letter Z. She didn't want any of the books to be made into television shows or movies, and she requested that her family not hire a ghostwriter to complete the series. Therefore, the series ends at Y is for Yesterday. If you are interested in hearing more stories like this one, visit The Frasier on Saturday, October 29th for Spooky Saturday. We'll have scavenger hunts, spooky tours, craft stations, and trick-or-treating. Plus, we're hosting special guests from the Princesses of Louisville and may even have additional creepy crawly visitors. The event is from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. and admission is discounted to $10 for everyone. Visit the Fraser website for more information.